Hi, Beck Mack here for Popsart, and I am actually in Quagoma. It's for real. I'm here in the real beautiful space of an art gallery, and I'm with the incredible minister, Leanne Enoch. How are you? I'm really great, and how exciting to be face-to-face -face at an event, but it's very, you know, sensibly socially distanced. That's right. I'm going to make my space, but we're here because there is the most exciting announcement for 2021 here at Quagoma, but I'm going to let you announce it because it's so exciting. Well, it is incredibly exciting. It's great news for Queensland and it's the European masterpieces from the Met New York that are coming here to Queensland exclusively to Brisbane uh, next year in June. Um, some 65 pieces of uh, some of the world's most renowned artists, over 500 years worth of uh, great arts, uh, art from uh, the Western arts and artists. Uh, and so it's coming right here to Brisbane and Queensland and exclusive for us. So um, timely to reflect on 500 years of art and history and culture and how resilient we are and how we will keep surviving. I guess what, a, what an, an incredible moment to have that work in this place to, I guess, connect with, with who we are as human beings in a way. Is that, do you think that's sort of part of uh, the magic of this show? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, all of us, Queenslanders, Australians, you know, people right across the globe, we've been dealing with this pandemic for, well, what are we talking now, eight, nearly nine months. Yeah. Uh, and in Queensland, we've done an amazing job um, in terms of managing and continuing to manage the health crisis. Uh, but when you see this kind of exhibition being announced today, uh, particularly for the arts and cultural sector, there's a little glimmer of hope that things uh, we'll get back to normal, you know, or whatever the new normal will be into the future. There's a glimmer of hope uh, that things will get better. Yeah. Uh, and particularly for the art sector who have been hit very hard by COVID-19, um, to see this kind of announcement makes you feel like, okay, we'll just keep going. Yeah. Um, and to recognise that uh, the arts and culture sector uh, will continue to be a very, very important part of our economic recovery in Queensland and in Australia. When you see some, a show like this happening, you recognise that arts and culture are leading the way in many ways, and that's the power of what what this opportunity is, but also the value of the arts to our community and how it, it, it can lead the way to recovery. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, we all know, when, you, when you're in the arts sector yourself, you know how important it is. Uh, but I think what's happening during COVID-19 is that more broadly, the community is recognising the intrinsically important aspect of arts in their lives. Um, I think now more than ever people are reaching out to connect to each other and the arts does that yeah. uh, which is why exhibitions like this will be very very important not just for our social well-being and our emotional well-being our ability to connect to each other but our economic uh, story yeah. going forward yeah. um, and you know it's announcements like this uh, and the fact that uh, we've got other blockbusters that will be coming at the end of this year. Um, we're reopening um, a number of our uh, galleries and uh, art spaces. Uh, the Palaszczuk government's invested now $42.5 million worth of relief measures to get us back on track, uh, building the confidence of audiences to come back. All of that is painting the picture of economic recovery driven by arts and culture. Yeah. Finally, how good is it to be together again? <laughs> yes! I've missed you, Beck. I've missed you so much. Um, and I think we're all missing each other. And quite frankly, can somebody please like work out an event where I can wear a ball gown? Like oh. I just... <laughs> okay. yeah. Can we sort that out, please, ministers out there? We need a ball gown. <laughs> you look fantastic. It's great to see you. So thanks for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you.